Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete and in this series we try to complete The Sims 3. Now we wrapped the last episode up with some building but also with Pauline, who thanks to a small bug in the game failed to get herself promoted. That delays her rise to the top of the thief career a bit, so let's take the whole thieving thing into our own hands and see if we can't relieve these guys of their water fountain. Alright, once again Pauline seems to be a bit more fond of the garden table, so we'll have to try again. This time she goes for the light instead, but hopefully the third time is the charm. And so we now wasted two attempts, but in the end we got what we came for. Back at home, Pauline and Patrick meet in the kitchen area, where both of them can now grab something to eat. Afterwards, Patrick starts work in the garden, while Pauline can start on a small wish. She wants to donate 2500 simoleons to undermine charity. The highest amount we can donate per day, however, is only 1000 simoleons, so that will have to be enough for the moment. Back inside, Pauline can then once again start to paint. Hmm. Up next is Paul, who will today spend a rather uneventful day. He will start things off with a breakfast and then sit down to continue his masterpiece novel. Pauline then finishes her first painting for this episode, and once again we will of course sell this one, but since Pauline is getting a bit tired, we will now send her off to bed. That way she will hopefully have a full energy bar in the evening when another work shift awaits. With Chastity awake, things are back to business as usual. Just like in the last episode, Chastity will spend the majority of her time playing for tips and I found the theater to be a good location for that. After several hours of gardening work, Patrick has finally finished everything and that means he can now grab the mail. And while he does, we can already sell the money tree harvests. Then we can quickly hop into the family inventory to sell what we just received. I honestly still don't know why we get all this stuff every day, but it's basically free money so we won't complain. For Patrick, we also received a skill certificate for the handiness skill and after maxing that out in the last episode, let's put that skill certificate up in Patrick's room. Then it's time for Patrick to take a shower and while he does we get an interesting opportunity. The Oh My Ghost opportunity is one that I believe Paul and also Chastity already have, still it can't hurt to have it on another sim, since this is one of the opportunities I definitely want to try eventually. After his shower, Patrick will now take care of his fish, as you might remember we completed the perfect private aquarium lifetime wish in the last episode, and his brother Paul is getting stressed from writing and will therefore now make the switch to the sim life goggles. Shortly after, with his fun bar maxed out and all the stress removed, Paul can start riding again, while with Patrick we will start a new adventure. We still have two part-time careers that are not completed yet, and which career would suit Patrick better now than a part-time career at the grocery store? And so that is now exactly the career we'll pick for him. At home, Pauline is well rested again and back on her feet and that means she can once again start painting. With Patrick in the meantime, I have decided to go seed collecting. Of course, we will only go for special seeds and maybe we're able to find another money tree seed. While Patrick is busy collecting, Pauline finishes her painting and so it's now time for her to grab something to eat. Pauline's work shift starts in less than 4 hours, so we still have a bit of time to prepare. And with a full belly, Pauline can then once again go back to painting. Yes, I know, a bit repetitive, but we need her to get to at least level 7 in the painting skill, because at that point she will be able to paint portraits. Alright, the painting is not finished yet, but Pauline improves her painting skill to level 6 and that is actually enough for today. Let's instead now quickly max out her fun bar, as Pauline's work shift starts in less than an hour. 
And here we are, Pauline Svanbar has reached its peak, and so it's now time for her to go after that promotion she missed in the last episode. With all her work performance requirements being bright green, I have no doubt that she will be successful. At home, meanwhile, Patrick has put 11 special seeds in the ground, so there is definitely some potential for some very interesting plants in the next few days. For now, though, Patrick can already head off to bed. With Pauline, we then get a work opportunity that might serve us well in the future, stay late to improve co-worker relationships, and since Pauline is not really terribly busy at the moment anyway, I think we can accept that. A few moments later, it's time for Paul to head to bed. Tomorrow is one more and hopefully the last workday for him, and he is pretty much guaranteed a promotion anyway. Still, that doesn't mean he has to arrive that tired. And if you're wondering what Chastity is doing, well, three hours later she's still playing guitar. However, now hungry and tired and also with a very decimated crowd. That means it's probably time to have her stop playing now. And as you can see on the top right of the screen, Chastity once again made over 10,000 simoleons today. Back at home we witness good timing, Chastity comes home just as Patrick wakes up, and so the two of them can have a quick chat since both of their social bars are a bit lacking. Then at 4am, Pauline's prolonged shift finally comes to an end, and not only does she receive a nice co-worker relationship increase, she also gets the promotion to level 8 in the thief branch of the criminal career. And with that she only has two more promotions to go until she has fulfilled her lifetime wish. At home, Chastity and Patrick had a good conversation. The two of them actually still have a negative relationship, and that might be the result of Chastity witnessing Patrick in his heartbreaker days. However, they are not enemies or anything, so we should be able to get the relationship back into the positive fairly easily. Chastity has now finally been able to get some sleep, and in the meantime, Pauline has also returned, ready to take a shower. With Patrick, we then had to wait a few minutes until it was 5 a.m. That is the time where plants grow new harvests, and so those harvests can now be collected. And Paul is also already awake again, and for a change we do not desperately need to prepare for his work shift, so instead let's just have him continue to write until he has to leave. And what is normally breakfast for others was likely dinner for Pauline, who is already getting a bit tired, but not too tired to paint. And her painting here is already halfway done, so we can expect results in just a moment. In the meantime though, it's time for Paul to leave, his work shift starts in an hour. And for a change, yes, I've been reading a lot of your comments, let's actually have him change at home. Then he can teleport himself over to the office building and start what is hopefully going to be his last shift in the business career. Bumpcha. Shortly after, and just as expected, Pauline finishes another painting, and even though she has the day off today, let's send her off to sleep to be well rested later. There is really no need to mess up his sleep schedule at this point. Outside, Patrick has finished his tour through the garden and can now grab the mail and also pay the bills, which are actually still quite low with only roughly 1,700 simoleons. While we're at it, let's also quickly sell the money tree harvests, and once again from the family inventory everything we just received. Then it's time to feed the fish, although I'm not 100% sure whether or not we have to do this daily. On the other hand though, I don't really want to find out. Around 11 o'clock then, Chastity is finally the last person awake in the household, and she will start her day with a delicious spaghetti breakfast. Afterwards, it's more of the usual with her. Off to the theater she goes for one more round of guitar. Tabina Fazu Farzno. And so with everyone busy, let's not forget about the fact that it is indeed a new week in Sunset Valley, and that means we can collect our weekly investment money. At this point already a rather nice 150,000 simoleons. All the fish are fed and that means it's now time for Patrick to take care of himself, and more specifically of his fun bar, as Patrick now once again belongs to the working population, and his work shift at the grocery store starts in roughly two and a half hours. And speaking of work shifts, probably the most important shift of this episode now comes to an end for Paul. And as expected, Paul receives the final promotion in the business career, making him a power broker and completing the 12th career of this playthrough. 
And I think this deserves a special mention. Not only is this the 12th completed full-time career in this playthrough, it is also the 4th completed full-time career for Paul. So Paul has single-handedly completed a career in journalism, a career in the forensics branch of the law enforcement career, as well as both the politics and the business career. And I think for that he has more than earned himself a reward, and that reward is immediate retirement. That should give Paul enough time to focus exclusively on his books. Back at home meanwhile, Pauline is already well rested again, and she will spend her day off just like she spends her working days, painting to improve her artistic skills. Now, despite a horrifying encounter with the SimLife goggles, Patrick has maxed out his fun bar, and so let us now grab one more positive moodlet with a shower, before Patrick can teleport off to work. And while his brother leaves, Paul comes back home, and I already mentioned it earlier, he can now spend the rest of the day finishing his masterpiece novel. Pauline then gets one more painting done, but her work is far from over, so let's quickly sell the painting and then start from scratch again. After just three hours of working, Patrick's first shift at the grocery store comes to an end, and he did work hard enough to get the work performance bar over halfway filled. To celebrate, he can then grab some lobster for dinner back at home, while Pauline finishes one more painting. And at this point I was beginning to doubt her creativity a bit, I believe we've seen this exact picture three or four times now. Anyway, after selling, Pauline makes her way over to the fridge to also grab something to eat, but we get interrupted by Paul who finishes his third masterpiece novel. A quick look in the skill journal tells us more, finally we're up to three masterpieces, and I would like to get two more to complete the specialist writer skill challenge and in turn also the writing skill in general. That means Paul will immediately start working on novel number four, while Pauline grabs something to eat and Patrick heads off to bed. Then for Chastity, the crowd hasn't been as good as it was yesterday, and with Paul now having another novel finished, we can actually send her home for something I have planned for a long time now. Before we get to that though, Pauline can donate another 1000 simoleons to undermine charity, and then teleport off because we have some property buying to do. But let's first check back in with Paul and Chastity. I believe I mentioned this a long time ago, I want to have a portrait of all the sims that ever lived in this household before they die. And Chastity isn't getting any younger, and her life is also not getting any more interesting, so we might actually see her leave us soon. But before I will allow that to happen, we need a portrait of her. So Paul can now get to work. With Pauline meanwhile, we arrive at City Hall, and we have enough cash to now buy one of the last two remaining venues in town. And so after spending over 190,000 simoleons, the complete family now also owns the local gym. That property could of course use a bit of upgrading, but we can postpone that to one of the next episodes. With her portrait already started, Chastity is not needed anymore, so she can quickly take a shower, while Pauline is not done spending money. We can actually buy a few of the residential properties in town as well, uh, that can be done with the mobile phone, and so let's spend a further 30,000 simoleons to acquire a few residential lots. And here you can see them on the map, all those empty lots now belong to us. And it is getting a bit late on this Monday in Sunset Valley, so I think it's now about time we send both Paul and Chastity off to bed. With Pauline meanwhile, we're going for one more kleptomaniac round for today. My target was the grill here, but of course things did not go as expected. So with an additional light and a garden table, Pauline has now grabbed herself what we actually came for, and I think this is a good point to make the cut in this episode. In the next one, we might actually get Pauline a boyfriend, but we might also decimate our household a bit further. So a Russian roulette of emotions might be waiting, so stay tuned for next Sunday, and until then I can say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.